guys welcome to another video this one I literally I haven't been in my craft room for feels like an eternity but that's it was probably only a week I guess but just having other things you know doing other things and all, all that sort of bizzo it just sort of I decided I just wanted to come in and just play just freeform play so I grabbed my compass, I did a few ar arches and I wanted to do something with circles but I wanted to use some mixed media supplies but I ha did have someone um, say to me, do I ever use these brush ink pens? Do I ever actually use the pen on its own? Now normally what I would do is squeeze this out onto my palette and then use a normal brush because I think you get a much smoother result but I decided no I'm going to try and do this with these pens and for someone that uses paint brushes these pens are terrible as soon as I pulled my paint brush out I'm like yep yeah, that I've got to I've got to use it like that if you're only doing a small space it's probably okay to use those brushes on the end but I personally prefer to just use a paintbrush. I think you get a much cleaner, smooth result. Um, you can see in the red there at the bottom, it's a little patchy. Now, I didn't want to waste all that ink that I had. So I squished it onto a sheet of cardstock that was just sitting there, which is the American Crafts white textured stuff. And I thought, I'll just squish it onto it because I can punch it out later. I can draw something I can stick it through my Cricut and cut something out or you know any of those things now I'm basically just having a play really just getting back into the craft room and doing some different bits and pieces so this is sped right up because I was just enjoying the fact that I was back in the craft room and doing a video for you guys and I wanted to I didn't really have a direction and I find that kind of scrapbooking, I actually find it quite relaxing, believe it or not. If I don't have an idea in my head, the only idea I really had was circles. I wanted to do something circular, but then I thought, no, I've just done a layout that's got circles in it. So I figured I would do sort of the half moon thing. Then I thought, oh, maybe I can chuck some rainbow colors on there and, you know, pull it all together. These pens that I'm using here, they are the dual end dot markers. Now they've got a larger end and a smaller end and they're absolutely so much fun to play with. And all I'm doing is just adding some marks onto here at the moment thinking, oh yeah, that'll do. That's, that's kind of, it's jazzed it up a little bit if that makes sense. And I just wanted to have a play I'm just playing. Do you ever do that? Do you ever get to the point where you just want to have a play with stuff? You don't want to overthink it too much. You just want to give it a go. Just give it a crack and just see what you can come up with. Well, that's what I'm doing here. There's not really any direction for this. I'm just doing a few dots here, a few lines there, a bit of a squiggle there. And yeah, I'm just, because I've got them in the metallic pens and the, what do they call the other ones? I think they're just oh they're just bright they're just bright colors so as you can see there I've got plenty of these pens they're just from Kmart they weren't ridiculously expensive and they're actually really really good they're very pigmented for what they are and especially for the price like it was so good but um so I've this is me playing over a couple of days. I, I just, I started it yesterday. I was just mucking around with it. And then I decided that I'd have a little bit of a play today. Pulled out the Distress Watercolor Pencils. Get a bit of color down there. They're water reactive. So I, I figured I'd just sort of blend it out a little bit. And I didn't really know. Like I said, I'm just playing. Trust the process though. Because I think when it gets to the end, it looks really cool. And I'm just spreading some some purple I'm just using the distress watercolor pencils there for a minute just to try and get a bit of color onto the page and normally I would add the color to my plastic my perspex plastic it's supposed to be a stamp pad but I use it as a palette and I love how that works 
Now I decided to pull out a Distress Oxide ink in Wilted Violet and this stencil, I love this stencil, it looks like a doily really and it's great to use your oxide sprays through it, your acrylic paints on it, all that sort of thing and then I thought maybe I could just tape off a part of it and just use some of it just to add some more visual interest to this page. By this point I decided it really does need to have a little bit of dimension on the page and as a result you can see what I end up doing here shortly to add more texture to the page and it was really good because it got me using my products again and it's so very true that if you don't use it you lose it and that's what happens to me when I'm out of the craft room and I'm not really hands-on with anything I struggle with it I struggle with it a lot um, but you know at the end of the day it is what it is and I get in the craft room sorry my husband just pulled up and I heard his car and I haven't shut the door so hopefully he's not too loud when he comes in <laughs> But that's all right. So I just went around this doily, just sort of adding a bit of extra interest. Now, I often do this, if you're new to my channel, I quite often use contrast like black and it really helps everything pop. So what I'm really trying to show you guys with this layout is you don't need all the expensive tools. All you need is a little bit of imagination and you can create some beautiful, beautiful pages. Now, I will be honest that, you know, you, there's, there's scrapbookers out there that only use papers and paper only. That's what I used to do. Um, and I there's other scrapbookers out there that are like me that love lots of mixed media all the wet mediums and just sort of, you know, doing all that. But to be honest with you, I absolutely love how this turns out in the end. And with the extra little doodly bits just drawn onto it, I really like how it turns out. So stick with me. It's not much longer. And um, yeah, you can shut my door if you like. Sorry, my husband's just come home. So he's wanting to duck into the shower and my shower is right next to my scrap room so yeah so I pulled out the Tim Holtz stamps these are the foam I always get this wrong and then I always have to pull it back out again because I never write it down it's the Tim Holtz um, ideology block l block lowercase stamps they're a foam stamp and they give a really good bold title when you want it. I don't stamp my titles very often, so I thought that might be something I could do on this layout. And just to, and I'm using the grid pattern underneath my placemat that I've got on there, just to get my words straight on my stamping block. And I've got to be honest with you, sorry about my head getting in the way, but you've got to stamp over the top of the paper. So... Now, this word I did put over a bit far. I should have centered it more, but we live and we learn, right? So it wasn't, it doesn't bother me enough to change it, put it that way. So this, I absolutely love these stamps. And I don't know why I don't use them more often, but they're absolutely beautiful. Actually, I've just had a really good idea for a layout. You know, you know when an idea just pops into your head. So I've got a little bit of time up my sleeve, so I might do another layout, which would be fantastic. And yeah, so I haven't bought any new collections. Is there is there any collections that you really like the look of that you would like to see me do something with? If so, leave it in the uh, comments below, and I will do my best to get my hands on that collection that you just that you're talking about. And yeah, go from there. I. If you're new to my channel, I go through waves. I um, I couldn't find my eraser there, by the way. So <laughs> I did find it in the end. And it wasn't the one I wanted, but it worked anyway. I just didn't want to. I've got a couple of rubbers that are very hard. And I don't like using them on a layout when I've just 
completed all of it like this. So I just used the, these dot markers, right? They're great for dots, but you can still use them just as a normal pen. So I'm going around and just doing a drop shadow in the gold just to give those stamps a little bit more of a pop. And I absolutely love how this looks. Love, love, love it. And then I decided I was going to come in with my black Posca paint pen just to add a little bit more black in there. Because for me, I talk about, you often hear people say the rule of threes, right? And yes, that is very appealing to the eye. I get all that. Absolutely. For me, the rule of three comes into play when I've got, for instance, when I'm using black, I have to have like black in the border, black in the title, um, black in the background. It might be black in the photo. It's, but for me, it's got to be on there three times for it to look balanced. So for me, I've done the black around the border. I've done a little bit of black pen work through the little rainbow in the corner and so what did I say yeah and in the title so you know between between those three it looks balanced and that is something that I really can't stress enough that to get that balance that's pretty much how you do it now I'm coming in here with some liquid pearls just to add some extra te texture I haven't used them for a little bit so I, I end up using uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different colors. And I'm just going in over the top of and enhancing the stencil. So on this layout, I can tell you the liquid pearls I've just built up over time. The pens are from Kmart and they're only about six, either $6 or $9. I can't remember the exact price. Um, and the stamp's been in my stash now. It's it's one of those things. When I say invest in something, like if I'm going to invest in something, um, for me, it has to be something I'm going to use. Now, that stamp, I thought I would use it more than I do. I think the reason I don't use it as much is because I can't really clean the black off it. If you've got an idea or if you know a way of getting the black Versafine Onyx black ink off those foam stamps because I've even tried just stamping them a hundred times and it still keeps coming out of them so yeah I'd like to be able to use them with different colors that would be cool so then I just did some splatty bits and just to add I didn't want that white space to look too detached from the actual layout so if you're getting value from my video, guys, please leave me a comment, like, sub subscribe if you haven't, um, invite your friends to have a look, see if this is something that they'd be interested in. You know, even if you take away the, the title, it might be the rainbow, sort of that, that circle theory in the back of my head, the liquid pearls, maybe it's the, it's the pen work, maybe that's something you want to work on. Let me know what you would like to see next and I will be back with you on Friday with another layout and yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll be back with you on Friday. Bye for now.